All right, guys, here we are up here at camp. Got the tent all set up. Gonna have a great weekend. Do a little bit of metal detecting. See what we can find while we're up here. I just wanna show you guys my latest addition. Boom, there we go. Metal detecting and camping with Bottle Cap Bob on YouTube. All right guys, let's have a great weekend. All right, hey everybody. I am up here at uh, my camp spot. Finally made it up here. Got camp all set up, had some lunch. Now it's time to get out here swinging. Uh, this is the cove that I was in the last time I was up here day use area where people would swim and uh, I'm gonna I kind of did a hit and miss on this area last time I was up here I'm gonna hit it a little bit more thoroughly uh, kind of grid off this area a little bit see what I can't find all right guys we'll get you on the first good signal all right guys first signal crusty old quarter I think it's got the eagle on the back oh wait no yeah, it's a state quarter all right guys that's a good start. On to the next one. All right, guys, I just dug this one up. Not sure exactly what I've got. <sighs> just clean the dirt out of it here. At first, what I thought I had was, it looked like the tip to a, a gun, like the barrel part of a gun, but I don't believe that's what I've got. Because at first I thought that this could have been the sight and then the tip of the barrel right here, but Ah, I think it's just a piece of pipe. Moving on, guys. All right, guys, just to catch up here with you guys. Uh, that's where I'm at so far. I've got a couple quarters. Doing pretty good on the dimes. I've got, looks like six dimes and a bunch of crusty pennies. This one here was a surface find up there near camp. So, not doing too shabby so far. Um, digging a lot of campfire slag pull tabs, bottle caps, stuff like that. But I am getting a little bit of coinage today so far. Um, hopefully we'll pop a ring or two. That's what we're looking for. Let's see what happens. Oh, and surface trash. That's uh, out here everywhere too. All right guys, on to the next one. All right guys, I just took another sinker and with the sinker, I also got this little bell. This is probably the closest I'll get to a Croto bell. Well, this wasn't found with the metal detector. I just spotted it laying on the ground. Looks like a little skull from a squirrel. A little squirrel skull. Pretty neat. These are his cutting teeth right here. Or it could be a little gopher or something. I don't know. And then his molars in the back. Pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. On to the next one. Alright, guys. Uh... I don't think I've done a live dig on this hunt yet and I've got a nice solid high tone coming in here coming in like a 23 24 I'm hoping it's not another can I just dug a sinker a few minutes ago it was in the same range in the tone yep look there we go that lead all right getting a few sinkers now I started off up there closer to the shoreline where everybody would be swimming. Now I'm down here where people would be losing sinkers. Hopefully they lost some gold and silver. All right, on to the next one. Okay guys, if it's not bad enough digging a pull tab or a, a old school ring pull, this one here was coming in solid 14, man. Sounded really good. Look what somebody did to me. Ah, jeez. They got me good. Alrighty guys, on to the next one. I'm gonna show you guys my my next find here, which is gonna require 
some assistance getting out uh, I didn't bring a big enough shovel um, what I mean by assistance is that guy right over there that little mini excavator he's come to pull out my find over here looks like a 1991 1992 suburban stuck in the mud and uh, <laughs> check this out as I'm walking out here to get this on film this other truck right over here they were barreling along through here and they buried their truck they got it stuck so they were trying to wave down the the guy in the excavator to come give him a hand so it looks like after he gets this one here done he's gonna have to probably head over there and give those people a tow out unfortunately there's no keys inside they don't know whose vehicle this is but boy is it buried deep look at this they got her stuck good man Excavator's got some power. Front end sinking back down again. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, he's got it out of the hole. Let's see how deep that hole is. Pretty dang damn deep. Cause they don't have a key for it whoever got this thing stuck took the key so they're gonna have to pull it out while it's in in a park well maybe Ooh. looks like they're just gonna have to walk it out of here a little bit at a time that's gonna take a while on to the next one all right guys i don't know if you can see this on film on camera or not but this is what I'm dealing with out here. This is out in the, the middle of the lake that just recently uh, dried up. It looks like cobblestones all throughout here. But as you're walking on this stuff, see, if you guys can see that how it moves under your feet. So it's almost like the, the ground is moving under your, well, the ground is moving under my feet as I'm walking. Feels kind of weird. All right, guys, here's a 2016 Ford F-150. This one here is stuck in the mud. The uh, mini excavator, he's coming over here to pull this one out. Uh, at least these guys, they seem to be in a good mood about it. So that's cool. All right, guys, these guys are in really high spirits considering their situation at the moment. I mean, their timing couldn't have been any better, to be honest with you, with the excavator going by just as they got stuck. All right, guys, this is the haul for day one. Um, I cannot take full credit for everything that's on the table here. I got the, the kids came up with me for the first couple nights up here at camping. So they went exploring and walking around and they found a boatload of trash, just surface finds. And they helped me out by cleaning up our, our campsites up here. Um, Here's some of the stuff that they, they hauled in. Some of it I did find, but like I said, the majority of it they found walking around. I found that leg off the Oakley sunglasses, the mini mouse ring. They found, I uh, found that surface fine plastic stuff here. And then they found pretty much the rest of that. They found all those tent stakes 
that were left behind. This was another plastic surface find that I found down there. Bunch of beat up cans, bunch of can slaw. Here's that little mini Coors can. I've never seen one that small before. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one that little, but I've never seen one that small. Golf balls, hinges, zipper pulls, you name it, we found it. Broken glass. I thought this one here was the a piece of a barrel to a gun when I first got it out, but then after looking at it and getting it cleaned up a little bit, I think it's just a piece of pipe. This stuff here is so aggravating because it sounds so good. It's can slaw. It sounds super good on your machine, but it's just garbage. Got a little pile of sinkers, a few pull tabs, lots of ring pulls, lots of ring pulls. In fact, when I found, oh, this one here tortured me when I found it. Somebody took the time to link them all together and then throw them on the ground for me to come by, by and find them. Uh, they got the old car shell. I think this is probably like one of those vapor things. I'm not sure. And then, like I said earlier, that's the closest thing I'll get to a Croto Bell, especially out here. Shotgun head stamp, couple shell casings, one really old fired bullet. That thing's hell, heck old. And then this is just this. This is too bad that we find these all over the ground. 99% of those are surface finds out of the campgrounds and we got these are rows of tens i got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty that's 200 bottle caps right there and then another row of ten 210 bottle caps just laying on the surface for the most part and then we got an old buckle looks like off of probably off of a life jacket or something like that this one here this one here looks like it's off of suspenders or something. And then uh, another surface find here uh, was this guy right here. Um, this was by the base of a tree over there. I thought it was kind of cool. So I stuck it in my pouch and brought it back to camp with me for now. And then I'll probably toss this in the, the trash or something before I leave. But I think it's a squirrel. So it looks like a squirrel skull. Pretty cool. And then for the coinage, we didn't do too awful bad. We got about $4 and change. We got a few quarters, a couple rows of dimes, nickels. Oh yeah, one of the nickels here. This is a oddity. That's a Canadian nickel. That was a surface find. Not by me, but by the kids. And then the grommets, those always sound really good snap button and then I got this one here a fossilized penny dirt's like cement super hard but it's like fossilized into the into the earth alrighty guys so that's a uh, roundup for day one and I'll see you guys on the next one for day two